Okay, so now that we have our models, we have a couple of choices of what we want to do. Um, if we wanted to go in and design the temporary bridge and the temporary crown, we could most certainly do that. Um, if we wanted to go into expert mode, uh, expert mode would allow us to do um, all sorts of different types of things. Notice how it says save scene and project directory. Um, that's important because we want to be able to retrieve our models. Now, if I was just here and I was a little impatient and I right clicked and said save scene as, um, what I could do was uh, is output this as an STL. But keep in mind that this is going to save um, this entire model as one STL. Let's just go ahead and do it. I'll just call it dies and I'll put this up on my desktop. And now when I open that up in Mesh Mixer, it's going to take a little bit of time. So we can, uh, if we're impatient, we can just sort of wait. Okay, so here we have our model in Mesh Mixer. You may notice that this entire thing is one color. Um, this is one STL. Um, it's just a solid thing. And that's no big deal. If you wanted to, you can go into Edit and you could hit separate shells and that would break these down into individual dies. Um, we can just click on this or click on the individual die that we have here. But we don't want to deal with that. We would rather have this export as separate dies and separate models. Um, so we can get out of Mesh Mixer. Let's go ahead and pull this back in. We can go ahead and hit Next um, and we can just say Save Anyway. And when we go back into our Dental DB program, we can now click Open in Explorer. And here it saved all these individual um, uh, dies uh, for us. So if we double click, let's say, on this, this is going to pull up Mesh Mixer and show us just the individual um, model that we had. You can see here, this is a, a separate file. So we can go ahead now and pull up our printing software. So we can, uh, in this case, I'll use Rayware. And we can now select all of these models and drag them over. So here we have two models. Uh, due to the bill plate size of the S, we won't be able to print both of these. Uh, but we can just go ahead and click and delete one of them. And we can go ahead and use the uh, select base option here and lay that guy flat. And we can click over here and let these guys be laid flat as well. guy over, move these guys over. You can get in the habit of always putting things in the center of the build plate. Now, will this model base print out okay? Absolutely. However, check out these dies. These dies, if we zoom in, for some reason this is doing what I wanted to, but you can see this little notch here. We're going to go ahead and add supports to these. And just based on my knowledge, when I hit the default of generating a support, it only gives you one little wimpy support. Um, so we can go in here and up the density and get a few more on that middle one. And then we're ready to print. So that's it. So our, on our next video, I'm going to go over how to generate um, a single temporary crown and a temporary bridge.